Okay, everyone, if you thought nuclear weapons are the most dangerous weapons of mass destruction, then you're probably wrong. By the way, if public information is anything to go by, all the nuclear warheads on the planet are certainly not sufficient to wipe out a quarter of the planet. So there's really no way a nuclear fallout could wipe out a continent. Talk more of humanity. Well, except that a continent is a country, if you know- Okay, okay, whatever, enough of the nukes. We've repeatedly seen the trend that the world's most dangerous weapons could be bioweapons. You don't agree? Okay, watch this video until the end. Ta-da! Welcome back to Bite Size Life. Today, we look at the world's most dangerous, most deadly, yes, the most deleterious, potent, pernicious, noxious, and innocuous toxin. <sighs> Batraco toxin. But please don't forget to batch or choke the subscribe button for more interesting content from your favorite channel. Okay guys, we've probably seen from the COVID-19 pandemic that if a virus or biological weapon were to be used in real combat, it'll probably be more deadly than nukes. Never mind, I'm not gonna say this or that, but cut to the chase. The deadliest of substances to mankind are always from mankind himself, or man's kindred, talking about other living things. Batrachotoxin is a kind of steroidal toxin that doubles as a cardiotoxin and a neurotoxin. It's found in the skin of poisoned dart frogs in Central and South America, and can also be found in the skin feathers of Batoe birds found in the New Guinea region. Although, frogs contain a more deadly poison, and it's far less potent in birds. Okay guys, are you frogophobic? Let us know in the comment section down below. You know, as they say, not all that glitters is gold. The most colorful of these frogs are the most poisonous. Ish. Be careful if you ever find yourself in the tropical rainforest, but since you found yourself here, please turn on the notification bell icon to get updates for more interesting videos. The Greek word batrachis means frog, but the way batrachotoxins are produced is kind of awkward. Poison dart frogs have been isolated and found not to produce this toxin in captivity. Here's the thing, they only produce it in the wild where they consume some kind of deadly beetles. Scientists speculate this to be the Melly Reed beetles, so no beetles, no show. Beetles, uh, I, I, I meant the animal, not the band, come on. Anyway, no beetles, no show. Okay, so back to bioweapons. Latin and Native American Indians use this toxin in their blowpipes to hunt for prey, and you know what that means. But why is batrachotoxin so deadly? Well, most neurotoxins are. A good example is botulinum toxin, which is commonly called Botox. But Botox has been used by scientists in cosmetic surgeries as modified neuromodulators for wrinkles and creases, in really small quantities. But hey, there is no known antidote for this neurotoxin. By really, really messing up your sodium channel and jamming them, Batrachotoxin paralyzes and depolarizes your nervous system within a few minutes. Also, it causes arrhythmia and fibrillation to the heart all at once. This would result in instant paralysis and, of course, a quick, easy breezy death. But just how much is enough to kill a fully grown adult? That could vary from species to species. For instance, the golden frog could carry enough toxin on its skin that by simply touching it, you'd be exposed to lethal amounts enough to kill at least 20 people in less than 5 minutes. Oh man, that's, that's a little too fast. In fact, a quantity of as little as two grains of salt is enough to kill you. Thankfully, unless you live in a tropical rainforest, you're not likely to encounter a frog that carries batrachotoxin. Okay guys, that's it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. See ya!